Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2, the second annual Hobby Stunt event here at the GNC Stunt Road, and here on July 4th, Independence Day here in the United States of America, we're going to show what real American racing is. In Germany but uh, anyways we're gonna have ourselves uh, four heat races here to start off in round number one um, the top five from each heat race will advance on the round number two the bottom five will have to fall back on the last chance qualifier race uh, actually, sorry, last chance qualifier dual races. There are going to be two of them uh, if they want to make it on to the main event. Uh, then round number two comes along, and there are going to be two races with ten drivers each. The top five from each of those advance on to the finale race, and then the um, winners of both of the dual races in the last chance dual, excuse me, dual races will advance on along with them, making it a 12-driver field for the main event, an 8-lap main event at the end of the day. But anyways, let's go ahead and introduce the driver starting here in heat number 1. You just go down in the description to see where you are going to be starting here, uh, for uh, starting in each heat. I'll also link the uh, place in the video where that heat begins, and uh, you can see yourself uh, where you start. So I'll make it a little easy on you. Uh, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go through the starting line up here for heat race number one. We're going to do it the traditional way here. Because I don't feel like going super editing on this one at all. I just uh, don't really feel like doing this race. But hey, you know, you guys signed up for it and I got to do it. And it's still a fun race anyway once I get into it as well. I procrastinated enough today. But anyways, the 81, Cody Smart starting on the pole. Cameron Garlington's alongside him. Got Max Newworth in the 48. Garrett Sinor in the 97. Cameron Black, Matt Tuck, Caleb Hoffman, Elijah Gordon, Zachary Fitzwater, and Harajil Arvin Alonzo. That is a star-studded field there. I mean, the, the newest driver we have here is Cody Smart in the 81. And he's been around a while, too. I mean, this is a star-studded field. Half of the guys in this race are NRLOA members. That's Cameron Garlington. Matt Tuck, Garrett Sinor, uh, Elijah Gordon, and Caleb Hoffman. And then you got Max Newworth. He's a great driver. He's run a lot here. He's actually won a race here before in the Aero Electric Pro Series. Cameron Black's a good driver. He's won the All-Star Race in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Starting Started on the pole for the Daytona 500. You guys have already seen that. So I can give that away. Zachary Fitzwater been, uh, has been around forever, and so has Harry Jalar and Alonso. I mean, this is a very star-studded field here for heat race number one in round one of the NRLOA Hobby Stone event. But only five of them will advance on the round two. We'll see which five. Green flag is out. Three laps for heat number one in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. The 81, Cody Smart with the advantage. Garlington, don't want to overshoot turn number one. Nobody will overshoot turn number one. So I originally recorded this race, and I found out that it was in arcade driving mode. And, uh, yeah, that uh, doesn't really work out too well. Simulation's a lot better. They race a lot harder in simulation. And uh, that's when we get things like that, where they can't get off the hills too well. And uh, they slow down. Cody Smart did that a little bit, but he's still out front in the 81. He is right now in the top five, along with Max Newworth, Cameron Garlington, Matt Tuck, and the 97 of Garrett Sonora. These guys are kind of bunched up back in here, though. Battling for that final position to advance. And Caleb Hoffman is going for fifth place underneath of Garrett Sonora. Take a look here. Cody Smart's going to lead the first lap of action, and they're going to bunch up back in here as Matt Tuck overshot the corner a little bit, and that slowed him down. Hoffman's going to take fourth place from him. It's a three-car breakaway between Garlington, Newworth, and Smart. And then we got these guys going side-by-side, side, Caleb Hoffman and Matt Tuck. Currently, they are both in transfer positions, but if one of them makes a mistake, one of them's not going to make it on. Or they might both miss it. I don't know. That's why we race. This is a very hard track uh, for these cars. These cars really can't take this track too well. And you got to be very clean, especially on the start of these races. Now, then again, these races are very short. So you kind of have to be aggressive to start off. And Sonora is trying to get around Hoffman. He's going to go to the outside of him here for fifth place. Matt Tuck seems to be in a good position right now in the number 30. Oh, no! 
Hoffman got into the 97, but that didn't mess it up, and Newarth had a problem in the 48. And that's going to shift the position up a little bit. Sonor is now going to be in, but Max Newarth in the 48, all torn up. A tough break for Newarth, who hasn't raced in a while here on Napa Fan. Cody Smart's still out front. It's now him, Cameron Garlington, Matt Tuck, Caleb Hoffman, and Garrett Sinor, but Cameron Black is trying to get around the 97 for the final transfer spot on the round number two. If you fail to advance here, you're going to be starting in the bottom ten positions in one of the last chance duel races. Uh, for these guys, it's going to be the first uh, duel race once we get to those. But uh, you do not want to be starting behind everybody in that one, because this is a hard place to move uh, your way up through the field. A tough break there for Max Newworth in the 48. Cody Smart is going to win heat race number one in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. Cameron Garlington's going to advance on. Matt Tuck is going to advance on. The 15 of Caleb Hoffman will advance on. And Garrett Sonor is going to get the final transfer spot on the round number two here in heat race number one. A very interesting heat race there. Cameron Black, Harajil, Larvin Alonzo, Elijah Gordon, Zachary Fitzwater, and Max Newarth are all going to have to uh, race their way into the last chance duel race. And that's going to be a hard thing for those guys to do. So tough break for those guys. And that's just the way it is. So the top five will race in heat race number one in round number two. And the bottom five will race in the first last chance duel race later on in the video. You can go ahead and uh, check that out in the description if you don't want to watch the rest of the video. But if you do, I recommend you uh, do so because we're going to have a lot more great racing coming up here in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. Let's get on to heat race number two here at GNC Stunt Road. And here we are for heat race number two in NRLOA Hobby Stunt round number one. Ten more drivers, top five advance on, bottom five going to last chance duel race number one. So let's go ahead and get to the starting lineup here for this one. Jack Porkins and the number 37 starts on the pole for heat race number two. Cody Smarts are on the pole for the last heat race and he won it. Josh Crash in the 57 alongside him. William Brock in the 10. Ryan Madden in the 21. Cookie Helms in the 23. Davey Johnson in the 66. Got Jesse Turner in the 58. Martin Kay in the 80. Aiden Shepard in the double zero. And Tyler Selzman rounds out the field here for heat race number two in round one of NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. And I'll quite opposite of the first heat. A lot of these guys are relatively new to the channel. Now, most of these guys uh, were not signing up uh, in last year's NRLOA Hobby Stunt, so very interesting thing there. Of course, we do have one veteran, one big-time veteran in the field. That's Jesse Turner in the 58. Tyler Selvin, also kind of a big-time veteran there, driving the uh, 63 for this one. So, same thing goes. Top five advance on the round number two. They will race everybody that advanced on in heat race number one in round number two. Other five will go on to last chance duel race number one and battle it out there. Ready to get this one started. Heat race number two is green here at GNC Stunt Road. And Jack Borkins got out to a great jump in the number 37. And the 57 of Josh Crash might have a problem. He's slowing him down here. Losing a ton of position. He's already lost three positions in the 57. And here comes Davey Johnson trying to take another. There is something wrong on the 57 of Josh Crash. What a tough break for the 57. And he can't seem to get around anybody here. Yes, yeah, so there goes Selzman for eighth. And you got Aiden Shepard back in here in the double zero. I think he's going to get around the number 57 as well. What a tough break for Josh Crash. That's going to put William Brock in second place, but it's still Jack Forkins out front in the 37. He's got the, uh, uh, what number is that? 21. The 21 of Ryan Madden running in third place. Davey Johnson is fourth right now in the 66. And currently the 80 of Martin K, the CSX Indy Light Series champion. Oh boy. They got double eye through turn one. I always think that outside lane car is going to shoot up the racetrack. But uh, 80, uh, 80 of Martin K, the CSX Indy Light Series champion for 2016. 
Currently right now in the final transfer spot. And it looks like Jack Porkins might have this one in the bag in the number 37, pulling away from William Brock for second, for first, I should say. Got uh, side by side for sixth between Selzman and the 23 of Cookie Helms. Jack Porkins in the outside wall a little bit, but so is the 10 of William Brock. Ah, William Brock hit that outside wall quite hard, and that's going to allow Jack Porkins to pull away even more. White flag in heat race number two for Jack Porkins in the 37. These heat races are so short that you can be as aggressive as, uh, aggressive as you want, basically. Because, you know, when it comes to um, longer races here at GNC Stunt Road, you got to take care of your car, because if you don't, you're going to get knocked out before the end of the race. But uh, due to the fact that this is only a three-lap race, you can be as aggressive as you want, basically, and not have to worry about your engine expiring because of it. And it looks like the top five is going to stay the same for this one, but we're not quite done yet. Jack Porkins having a little trouble getting through some of this corner. So did William Brock. William Brock under fire from losing second. They're going to get into each other there. Oh, boy. William Brock's going to stay in second. Jack Porkins will advance on along with William Brock, Ryan Madden, Davey Johnson, and the 66 going to come home fourth. And Martin Kay is going to round out the top five to advance on to round number two here in Enter the Way Hobby Stunt. These heat races are short, and if you don't really get a good starting position, you might not necessarily get a good finish. But Jack Porkins did, along with William Brock, Ryan Madden, Davey Johnson, and Martin Kay. They advance on. The rest of the guys are going to have to go to the last chance qualifier race if they want to keep uh, their dreams alive of winning an RLOA hobby stunt. But anyways, take a look at the finishing results for this one. Let's get on to heat race number three here in round number one of an RLOA hobby stunt. And here we are for heat race number three in round number one. One of the NRLOA Hobby Stunt number two, the second annual edition of this race here on July 4th, and it's going to be a good one. John Arndt is going to start on the pole here for heat race number three. Alongside him is the Daytona 500 champion, Josh Marzak, in the number zero one. And he's on top of the world right now with that Daytona 500 win. He's got a front row starting position for this one. See if he can get that to work out for him here in heat race number three. Uh, we got Marty Johnson in the 25, Christian Master in the 71, Stuart Gratton, the defending winner of this race. He won this race last year, and he returns to the number 17 to defend his title in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. Got Landon Napa in the number 35, Emmanuel Hartnett in the number one, um, Eric Almanhart in the number 77. Ben Clark in the number 5, and Jonathan Fitzwater in the number 26. Let's go ahead and get this one started here for heat race number 3 in NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. And over accelerated a little bit there, but hey, you know what? We didn't miss the race. That's good. But uh, anyways, 10 drivers once again. Top 5 advance on to heat race number 2 in round number 2. Bottom five will go to last chance dual race number two at the end of round number two. Anyways, we're ready to get this one started. John Arndt, Josh Marzak, we're green flag racing for heat number three in round one. And John Arndt did not get a good jump there. He's side by side with Marzak, but Arndt really gets into the corner well. And Marzak kind of slowed down there, wondering if he was having the same problem as Josh Crash did. Oh, man! He did not get off that hill well at all. The 71 got into him, and Stuart Gratton was there, and that was not good at all for the number 01. My goodness. Christian Master was the one that kind of put him in the outside, or put him, well, put him in the wall, I guess you could say. Gratton was there, and the 01 down the ninth. What a tough break. The outside uh, pull is not necessarily a good place to be. He had Josh Crash start there in heat race number two. He had a problem on the start of the race. And Marzak got uh, beat up there entering turn number two. And because of that, doesn't look like he's going to advance on the round number two. Tough break for the Daytona 500 winner. But still, you should still be feeling good about yourself after winning the Daytona 500. 
I mean, if you win a Daytona 500, I mean, nothing else really matters in your NRG as a 3K your career. It really doesn't. And I can guarantee you that that is his first NR2003 victory. Uh, because I personally know him. Yeah, I did not make him win, though. That is Daytona Speedway Physics. You would be able to tell if I made somebody win at uh, that racetrack. And uh, it is hard to make somebody win at that racetrack at that. Uh, but trust me, I did not make Marzak win that race, even though I personally know him. Everything about that Daytona 500 was as legit as all the others. Oh, boy. John Arndt getting bumped around here as Marty Johnson's trying to get around him. And Johnson is putting the pressure on him. White flag. Oh, man. Arndt got into the outside wall a little bit. And Marty Johnson's going to take the lead here on the final lap of heat race number three. It doesn't really mean much. But still, it's good to have that knowledge in your bank of how to pass here at this racetrack because it is hard to do so. The number 25, Marty Johnson, that's the first pass for the lead we've seen so far in this event. And he's pulling away from John Arndt. Right now, Marty Johnson, John Arndt, the 35 of Landon Napa, Christian Master, and Emmanuel Hartnett would be the top five to advance on. Marzak is right behind Hartnett here. And Marzak has a shot at advancing on here. Gratton is 7th. And we had a crash between the 26 and the 5. And it looks like somebody else is also out. Oh, wrong thing. I don't know who's out. It looks like the 77 might be. Marty Johnson in the 25. Hits the outside wall kind of hard. But he's going to be able to win heat race number 3. John Arn advances. Landon Napa, Christian Master, and Emmanuel Hartnett will hold off Josh Marzak for the final transfer spot. Not quite sure what happened to these guys back in here, like the 5 and the 26 and the 77. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see what happened to uh, knock those guys out of contention. So Jonathan Fitzwater is here in the 26. And this is after the Marzak gets in it. He gets in the Stuart Gratton. Gratton goes around and Almanhart, you see him overshoot the pit or overshoot the final turn there and hit the pit road wall. That's actually turn number 10, to be exact. Turn number 10. So he overshot turn number 10, then knocked the 77 out. The 26 of Fitzwater had a lot of front end damage. I think he got off a hill bad here. I'm gonna see if he did. The five is Ben Clark. And it was through one of these hills. There could have been kind of a combination of a lot of these hills. These guys were in position. They were battling for the final transfer position here to advance on. And it would eventually have gone to Emmanuel Hartnett, but uh, see the 26 here, he has front end damage. I think it's through one of these hills here. I already went through and see what actually happened. You guys are gonna see it here soon. He gets into Ben Clark, and that puts some front end damage to the 26. It's gonna bunch up Marzak and Hartnett, and then Ben Clark gets off a hill bad, and that allows the 26 to get alongside him. The 26 has that front end damage. He wants to come into the pit road, but Ben Clark's to the outside of him. And that did not turn out too well for the number five. Tough break for Ben Clark. He tried to get back out onto the racetrack through the invisible uh, wall there, and it uh, just didn't work out too well for him. But Marty Johnson in the number 25 gets the victory in heat race number three. Him, along with John Arndt, Landon Appa, Christian Master, and Emmanuel Hartnett will advance on to race two in round two. Marzak Gratton, the defending winner of this race, Stuart Gratton, not advancing on. Ben Clark, Jonathan Fitzwater, and Eric Almanhart uh, will be racing in last chance qualifier, dual race number two later on in the video. Let's go ahead and get on to the final heat race of round number one here in NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. And here we go, heat race number four. And the final heat race in round number one here in NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. And we got ourselves 10 more drivers. And only five of them will advance on the round number two. And we'll go ahead and see which five will do it. But well, first, we got to get to the starting lineup. Nicholas Gratton on the pole. Griffin Lynn alongside him. Bryce Lofor in the 16. Ryan Searless in the 72. Aaron Henderson in the 56. Victor Delgado in the 88. Cameron Gaju in the 28. Nicholas Samadio in the 83. Peter Miggs in the 93. And Tristan Allen rounds out the field here for heat race number four in NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. 
So one Grattan failed to advance on. That was defending champion of this race, Stuart Grattan. But his cousin looking to advance on in the number zero, Nicholas Grattan trying to get in. He starts on the pole, and so far two out of the three pole sitters in these heat races have won their heats. And all three of them have advanced on the round number two. So it's good to start first in your heat race because if you don't, it's going to take a while to move your way through the field and advance on. But anyways, ready to get heat race number four begun. And it's Grattan and Lynn on the front row where green flag racing for the final time in round one of NRLOA Hobby Sun 2. Zero so gets a good run. Griffin Lynn's going to overshoot the corner. And the curse of the outside pole position continues. My, oh my, what a tough break for Griffin Lynn. Starting on the outside pole there, he got on the outside of Nicholas Gratton, heading into turn number one, but it did not end too well for him. Bryce Lofors up to second now, the 16, the 72 is Ryan Searless. Then it's the number 56 of Aaron Henderson, and Cameron Gaji rounds out the top five the five that would advance on to round number two. Nicholas Gratton trying to keep the Gratton name in this race. Currently leads it in the number zero. He's going to lead lap one of heat race number four. Sam Adio, or sorry, wrong. Cameron Gaggio in the 28. Looking to the inside of Aaron Henderson, heading into turn number one. Henderson a little high, but he's going to keep it clean. They're side by side for fourth place. And Nicholas Samadio is back in here looking to strike. If these guys make a mistake, Gaju is going to take fourth away. Not quite yet. Now he will. Gaju is going to take fourth away from Henderson. And here comes Searless trying to get around Bryce Lowford for second. But it's Nicholas Gratton pulling away in number zero. Doesn't have anybody uh, pressuring him, so he should be able to run pretty well here. Man, just as I say that, he gets off that hill very bad. Gaju is closing in on these two guys, the 72 and the 16. Gaju's going to try to get around the outside. You don't want to be too wide through this corner. Gaju's going to hit the pit road wall, and Henderson's also going to hit him as well. And which one of these guys is going to be able to get that final transfer spot. Sam is going to. There's Tristan Allen. They're going to be three wide here. Oh, this isn't going to end well. My goodness, great job by those guys. They're avoiding a major crash. So right now it is Nicholas Gratton, Bryce Lofor, Ryan Searless, Aaron Henderson, and Nicholas Sam Adio, who would be the five drivers to advance on. Delgado is pressuring Sam Adio, though. And let's not count out this guy. Oh, never mind. Let's do count him out because he did hit that hill. Came off that hill very bad, and that's going to slow him down too much. The 83 got passed by the 88 for the final transfer spot. And these guys are battling hard here, but Gratton's out of here in the zero. And Nicholas Gratton is going to win heat race number four. The 88. Hit that outside wall a little bit, but he's going to advance on. Delgado keeps Sam Adio out of round number two. So it'll be Nicholas Gratton, Bryce Lofor, Ryan Searless, Aaron Henderson, and Victor Delgado advancing on from heat race number four here and round number one. Well, Nicholas Gratton... He just powered right through this one without any trouble, and he's going to advance on with those other four guys I mentioned. Sam Adio, Gaju, Allen, Miggs, and Lynn are all going to have to advance their way through if they want to, if they can. Oh, excuse me, into in last chance qualifier duel number two. The other top five. The top five will be in race number one for round number two. And uh, that is it for round number one, but uh, let's go ahead and get on to round number two here in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. It's going to be heat race number one in round number two. The top five advance on to the finale race here at GNC Stunt Road. And here we are, round number two. Uh, is about to begin here for NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. We got 10 drivers who advanced on from round number one, looking to advance on to the finale event here, the main event in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. And the thing about this race, it wasn't like this last year, but it is this year. 
Uh, these round races, these heat races in round number two, will determine how they line up for NRL or for the uh, main event. Oh my goodness! But anyways, uh, what will determine which uh, dri which drivers get which lane is whoever has the fastest speed. Uh, so whichever race goes fastest, uh, that uh, heap, the drivers who advance from that heat will start on the inside lane for the main event. The drivers with the slowest race. The slowest round, the slowest heat race, I should say, will start on the outside lane. Uh, but if you win this race, you're going to start on the front row, no doubt. Uh, so let's go ahead and see which one does it in this four-lap race. But first, starting lineup, Ryan Madden going to start first. Alongside him, it's Caleb Hoffman. We got William Brock, Davey Johnson, Cameron Garlington, Garrett Sinor, Martin K, Cody Smart, Matt Tuck, and Jack Porkins. That's the ten drivers advancing from round one here into round number two. Let's see which five make it in to the main event for NRLOA Hobby Stunt. A four lap race now. Round number two heat races are four laps long each. Each last chance qualifier race will be five laps long and the main event will be eight laps long. Most of these races are short for a reason. It's because these cars really can't handle this racetrack too long without their engine expiring because of damage. But uh, hey, it's gonna be good. Heat number one in round two is green. Ryan Madden gets the jump on Caleb Hoffman. Hoffman trying to get the run on the outside. Not going to quite happen. And everybody's going to get through turn one okay. Madden's going to stay out front. Hoffman trying to hold off William Brock. Davey Johnson is here in the 66. And it's Garrett Sonor currently rounding out the top five. But Ryan Madden in the number 21. The season four Chick-fil-A Cup Series Rookie of the Year. You know, he's a good driver. He's currently leading here in heat race number one in round two. The bottom five will start in the first five. Oh, no! Hoffman got him to Ryan Madden, and he went around. My goodness. And Ryan Madden might have some damage here. Davey Johnson's up to second. Hoffman's actually going to stay in the top five for now. Garlington and Sonora are battling side by side behind them. Oh, no, and Sonora went around. Matt Tuck, Martin Kay, and Jack Porkins back in there behind Sonora. And Hoffner, uh, Garlington right now running in sixth. Hoffman going to take fourth away from Cody Smart. It's Hoffman, Smart, Brock, Johnson, and Madden would be the five drivers to advance on to the final uh, to the final race here in NRLOA Hobby Stunt, the main event. I was just about to say, and I forgot what I was about to say, actually. Um, oh, yes, the, four, uh, the five drivers that do not advance on from this heat race will start in the first five positions for the uh, first last chance qualifier race after round number two. Madden is not getting through these hills too well, and Davey Johnson's trying to get around him here. Oh no, he spins him around, and Brock takes the lead! My goodness, and Hoffman's back in second place after all of that. That's gonna put Sonora back into fifth. Oh no, Madden's here. He's going to try to get back out on the racetrack, and he will, but it's going to slow him down. I think he hit it too hard. And Ryan Madden is not going to advance on to the main event here. He's going to have to try to do it in the last chance qualifier duel. My goodness. William Brock out front. Davey Johnson still in the top five, running fourth now. Cody Smart won his heat race in round one. He's currently third in an advancing position. Hoffman is second, and Garrett Sinor trying to hold off Cameron Garlington here for, uh, what position is that? Fifth place for the final transfer position. But these guys are not done beating and banging each other here. William Brock did not get through that corner well. They're side by side between Cody Smart and Davey Johnson. Johnson's gonna do it again, or is he? My goodness, he almost spun Cody Smart around. None of, the, none of those guys are gonna get into the outside wall. It's basically a battle here for the final transfer spot. Garlington's trying to get around Sonor. He has a run to the inside, heading in the one. Not gonna be able to do it quite yet. But Garlington is trying all he can to get around this 97. Yeah, Matt Tuck here, Martin K. Jack Porkins slow in the 37. And Madden's back out there on the racetrack, but uh, he is not going to advance on in that 21. William Brock trying to win his heat race here in round number two and start on the front row for the main event. Hoffman running in second. 
Cody Smart under fire from Davey Johnson once again. If these guys mess it up, that's going to open the door for some of the guys in the back. Cody Smart is going to get around the 66. Carlington trying to take fifth from Sinor. Sinor holding him off. William Brock will win heat race number one. Garrett Sinor is going to be the final transfer position on to the main event. Davey Johnson with a fourth place finish. Cody Smart's going to finish third. Caleb Hoffman with a second. And William Brock will start on the front row for the main event. But uh, depending on the speed of his race here, he got a 60.934. So we'll see here. 60.934 for these guys here. The number 10 was first in the 1581, 66, 97, and the 41. They're all going to start in the same row with each other, along with the winner from the last chance qualifier dual race number one. The bottom five you're going to see there on your screen will be racing in that one to advance on. Cameron Groynton will start on the pole for that race. Uh, for finishing sixth in this one, Matt Tuck, Martin K, Jack Porkins, and Ryan Madden will all be in last chance qualifier race duel number one. The other ten positions for that last chance qualifier race will be randomized, but the top five you see, or the bottom five you see, is the way they're going to be starting through positions one through five in last chance duel race number one. Hope you guys understand that. Keep on explaining it to you, because I want to understand it myself. But anyways, that was a very exciting heat race number one here for round number two. We still got another heat race here in round number two, and five more guys trying to advance on to the main event. Let's see what happens right now. And here we go. For heat race number two in round number two. Uh, okay, I don't understand why that's popping up there. But anyways, John Arndt is going to start on the pole for this one in the number four machine. And uh, might not necessarily be a good thing because Ryan Madden started first for his heat race here in round number two. And he finished in last place. But we're just going to have to see. These guys are getting more aggressive. And if you finish in the top five, you're going to be in the main event for NRLOA Hobby Stump 2. Bottom five onto last chance qualifier race uh, duel number two. Race number two, I don't know. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, John Hart starts on the pole alongside him. Bryce Lofor in the 16. Marty Johnson, Victor Delgado, Landon Napa, Aaron Henderson, Nicholas Gratton, Christian Master, Emmanuel Hartnett, and Ryan Searless. Those are the drivers in this one. And we'll see which five advance on to the main event here in Heat 2, in Round 2 of NRLOA Hobby Stunt. Anyways, had a very exciting round number, heat race number uh, 1 here in Round number 2. William Brock advancing along with Caleb Hoffman. Uh... Who drives the 81? Cody Smart, Davey Johnson, and uh, Garrison. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, heat race number two here on round number two is green. Top five advance on to the main event. Bryce Lofor getting a run on the outside there of John Arndt, but Arndt's on the inside. Mm, too much for Bryce Lofor heading in the turn number one. And the 16 looks like it's gonna ha he's going to have to... Uh, Race his way in in last chance qualifier duel number two. Aren't out front. Marty Johnson is second. These guys had a battle in their heat race in round one. Victor Delgado barely made his way in. He got a good starting position here for this one. He's third. Eric, or no, Aaron Henderson. He is running in fourth place right now, and it's a side by side battle for the last transfer spot between Nicholas Gratton and Landon Napa. Don't want to get into each other, though. Napa's going to hit the outside wall. Gratton's going to remain in fifth place. And Bryce Lofor in the pit road. It looks like it's going to be it for him here in round number two, heat race number two. Anyways. Oh, boy. 35. Landon Napa was a little wide there. He's still trying to get around the uh, number zero of Nicholas Gratton. He just can't quite do it. Marty Johnson trying to close up to John Arndt. He did it in his heat race in round number one. We'll see if he can do it again. Arndt does not want that to happen. He wants a front row starting position 
and he wants to be faster in this race in a 60.934 if he, if he wants to get the pole position for the main event. But he's hitting these hills at a bad place, and Johnson's closing in in the 25. Delgado is going to remain in third. Aaron Henderson is fourth, and Nicholas Gratton currently still in fifth place. Not much happening behind here. It's the 71 of Christian Master, Emmanuel Hartnett, 72 of Ryan Searless and Landon Napa back in here, but they're not really changing positions that much. For those guys who advance onto the main event, they're going to have to have a crash between some of these guys here if they uh, want to get into that top five. John Arn is under fire once again from Marty Johnson in the 25. And Johnson is right there. And it, if uh, John Arn makes a mistake through one of these hills, Marty Johnson could take the lead back. But Johnson made a mistake there through that hill. And John Arn pulls away a little bit. These hills are what determines who wins these races here at GNC Stunt Room. If you get uh, through them okay, going to be good to go, but if you make mistakes frequently through the hills, it's not going to turn out too well for you. Victor Delgado is going to go for second place on Marty Johnson. They're side by side. Johnson does not want to get so up high that he uh, loses it out of turn number uh, one there. And we got a battle for the final transfer spot. Landon Napa trying to get around the zero. Napa's going to get the run on the outside, I think, and take the final transfer spot away from Nicholas Gratton. Henderson still in fourth place. And it's these three guys up front. Delgado's coming close to getting around John Arn here. And Delgado has a shot. Will the 88 get around the four at the end of this one? We'll see. Oh, John Arn did not get through that hill too well, but Delgado chooses not to strike on him. Arn in the outside wall a little bit. But John Arn is going to be able to hold him off and win heat race number two in round number two. He will advance on and start on the pole position for the main event with Victor Delgado, Marty Johnson, Landon Napa. Nope. Okay, Landon Napa makes it in. I did not uh, catch Aaron Henderson. Henderson's going to be in fourth. Landon Napa will get the final transfer spot onto the main event in the number 35. The other five guys are going to have to go to the last chance qualifier race number two if they want to make it on to the main event. But that guy right there, John Arn, in the number four, will start on the pole for NRLOA Hobby Stunt. Um, the main event, at least, for NRLOA Hobby Stunt. I apologize, guys. I'm not really, my head's not into this, uh, into this too much. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you see the top five advancing on to the main event. And the bottom five are going to be racing in last chance qualifier race number two. Uh, so yeah, round number two is very interesting. We have ten guys in the main event, but we still have two more positions to fill. And let's see what happens in the last chance qualifier races. Fifteen drivers in each race, but only one of them from each race advancing on to the main event. Let's see what happens. We are for last chance qualifier race number one, dual race number one. I guess we'll just call it race one and race two because dual kind of is special towards cup series races. But um, yes, this is race number one of the last chance qualifier races and only the winner will advance onto the main event. So you have to win this race if you want to move on. If you don't win it, you're done for the day, unfortunately. But uh, anyways, we have 15 drivers. And here's how they line up for last chance qualifier race number one. Cameron Garlington on the pole. Alongside him, it's Matt Tuck. Then we have Jack Porkins and Martin Kay. Ryan Madden, Elijah Gordon, Aiden Shepard, Zachary Fitzwater, Cameron Black, Jesse Turner, Cookie Helms, Harry Jalar of Alonzo, Max Newarth, Josh Crash, and Tyler Selzman. Only the winner advances on to the main event. And that is all that we will be focusing on in this five-lap race. And it's going to be a good one here for these 15 drivers. Well, actually, it's going to be good for one driver, bad for the other 14. But uh, anyways, let's see what happens here. So Garlington and Tuck on the front row. Garlington finished sixth in round number two, in his heat race in round number two. The top five starting positions are determined 
um, from the finishing results in round number two. The other ten positions, the bottom ten, are randomized from the guys that did not advance on the round number two. So yeah, hopefully you guys understand. But anyways, looks like somebody might have made a mistake back in there. It looks like as long as they are all starting the race, it will officially count. And it does appear that they all are starting. So green flag is out. And Garlington gets the jump on Matt Tuck. Tuck trying to get the run on the outside. And again, he overshoots it. Or wait, I don't know. I recorded it the first time under arcade mode, the first heat. And Matt Tuck overshot the corner. Jack Porkins also in the 37 with a problem. And that's it for Matt Tuck and Jack Porkins. They will be done for the rest of the night. Slash day. It's actually in the morning when I'm recording. Or when I'm, in, when I'm uploading this. It's the evening when I'm recording this on Thursday, June 30th. Oh, Garlington at the outside wall. Martin K trying to strike on him. Oh, Garlington did not get through that hill. Good, and there goes Martin K in the 80. They're side by side for the lead, and only the lead matters here. Oh boy, Garlington's going to be able to get the run on the outside, and Fitzwater just hit the outside wall. Oh my, and Selzman. Got into him back in there. And that's it for those guys. Slowly knocking out guys here in the first last chance qualifier race. Cameron Garlington currently in the one and only transfer spot to the main event. He's got to hold off a hard charging Martin K and Ryan Madden back in here. And let's not count on Elijah Gordon either. He's a good driver. Okay, why do I say things like that? He got in the Madden, got spun around and slowed down, and it's going to take a lot to make up those uh, positions he lost there. Cameron Black on Ryan Madden for third. That could be big here, especially if these two tangle up front. Garlington trying to hold off Martin K. K into the outside wall. Very hard, and Madden in the outside wall. Hard enough to knock him out for the rest of the race, and trying to... Uh, see who that is there. That is Max Newworth getting held up with them there. Tough break for Max Newworth and Ryan Nevin. These guys are all over the place on the racetrack in this one. But it is still Cameron Garlington out front in the 41, the Season 3 Chick-fil-A Cup Series champion. But I don't really think your skills in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series can help you here. This is a totally different race than anything we run on on Napa Fam. And uh, it is very unique. And skills on asphalt courses might not necessarily help you here on paved courses. But Garlington's able to hold off Martin K for now, but Martin K is putting a lot of pressure on him. It's two laps to go here in the first last chance qualifier race. Black is second. Black is third, I should say. Cameron Black is third. And uh, Elijah Gordon is running in fourth place right now. Let me get to him. The double zero of Aiden Shepard is fifth. Eric Larvin Alonzo is sixth. Jesse Turner is seventh. Cookie Helms is eighth. Josh Crash is ninth. Alonzo did not get through a hill there good. And Max Newark there is in tenth. And the other five guys are out of the race. That's the 63. I forget who the 63 is. That's Selzman. Selzman, Madden, Fitzwater, uh, the 30, and the 37. <laughs> those are the guys that are out. I forget who drove those cars. I'm sorry. Matt Tuck is one of them. And then the 30. Oh, I can't remember who drove the 30. I'm so, so sorry. I'll, I'll figure it out once we uh, finish this one out. But anyways... Garlington pulling away from Martin K. K trying to get the run on the outside of turn one. But he's under fire from Cameron Black here in the 11. But it's looking very good for the 41. And Cameron Garlington, just a few more hills and a few more corners to go. And he's on to the main event. The outside wall a little bit there. Nobody else is close enough to him. Even if Garlington makes a minor mistake, Garlington will still pull away with this thing. You just don't want to make a mistake like Ryan Madden or Zachary Fitzwater did because they overshot turn number 10 by a mile. Well, not by a mile, but by, by, uh, by enough to knock him out for the rest of the race.
And Garlington's going to be able to get through turn 10 okay. And Cameron Garlington's on to the main event in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. He wins the last chance qualifier heat race number one. Everybody else is done for the day. But Garlington's moving on, and it's Jack Porkins in the 37, Matt Tuck in the 30. And quite a few guys knocked out in that one, but uh, it only mattered for the win. And Cameron Garlington started on the pole, led every lap, and got it. And he is going to start 11th, I think. No, he's actually going to start 12th. He's going to start 12th uh, for the main event. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on to... The second last chance qualifier race here in NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. And here we are for the second last chance qualifier race. And we will determine the final driver to transfer on to the main event in this one. Only the winner will advance on to the main event. So if you don't win this one, you're not going on. But uh, let's go ahead and get to the starting lineup for this one. 15 drivers in the field like the first heat race we had here for the last chance qualifier. Nickel is good. Uh, man, I need to get a drink. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. We have Nicholas Gratton starting on the pole. Alongside him, it's Ryan Searless. And we got Emmanuel Hartnett, Christian Master, Josh Marzak, Bryce Lofor, Zachary, or Jonathan Fitzwater. Wrong Fitzwater there. Eric Gomenart, Stuart Gratton, the defending race winner of this race. Of this event, I should say. Um, Griffin Lynn, Cameron Gaju, Peter Miggs. Tristan Allen, Nicholas Samadio, and Ben Clark. That's the full field for the second last chance qualifier race. Let's see what happens in this five-lap event to see who advances on to the main event in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. see what happens here in this one. The inside lane's been the place to be to start the race on the front row. Outside lane has not really gotten too many good starts here tonight. On the front row at least. Many guys have overshot turn one. And some guys have even had mechanical issues, but uh, I'm just going to have to see how this all plays out. Nicholas Gratton won his heat race in round number one. He failed to advance from uh, round number two, so here he is starting first for the second last chance qualifier race. Ryan Searless getting the run on the outside, and the 72 is going to try to keep with the zero. He might be able to do it here through these first set of hills. Oh boy, they're remaining close, but Nicholas Gratton's going to uh, take the lead away. From the 72, Emmanuel Hartnett side by side with him. That is for second, but that doesn't really mean much. You gotta be the winner of the race to advance on to the main event. And I know Nicholas Gratton can do it. If you remember what he did in round number one. A lot of uh, shaking up here, but it looks like everybody is still on the racetrack with uh, minimal damage. So this might be the calmer one here. We're just going to have to see. Oh boy, Hartnett a little high there. Searless is going to take second away from him. Oh, somebody's around. That's Griffin Lynn. Uh, looks like the 77 of Eric Ullman are into the outside wall along with Nicholas Samadio. That's a tough break for those guys there. And there's uh, Gaju there in the 28. But uh, none of that really means much. I mean, Nicholas Gratton, I mean, he is pulling away here in the number zero, but uh, you got to get through these hills good if you want to keep your lead. And if you don't do that, second place is going to close up really fast. But Ryan Searless doing all he can to catch up to Nicholas Gratton here for first place. Emmanuel Hartnett, he almost got around the 72, but he just couldn't do it. He remains in third, and that 72 is coming ever so close to this zero. This thing is far from over. Searless is going to get a run to the inside. Oh, man. And Nicholas Gratton overshot the corner a little bit. He hit the wall. They're now, they're all going to bunch up here. Hartnett's back in here trying to get around the 72 while the 72 is trying to get around the zero. And they're side by side for the lead on lap three of five here in the second last chance qualifier race. Ryan Searless is going to take it on lap three. Gratton still has a good shot, though, especially after that mistake there by Searless through that hill. But 
Nicholas Grattan. It looks like he running a little slow here, and there goes the one of Emmanuel Hartnett, but Grattan's going to get a run back on Searless. He's going to get into Searless. He got into Searless through the hills, and Nicholas Grattan back out front in the zero. And that's going to bunch them up. Bryce Lofor trying to close up to these guys here. Oh, man, what a heartbreaker for the 72. Hits the wall again, and Hartnett's going to be able to take second here shortly. I really think he, he's going to be able to do it. Nicholas Gratton remains out front with two to go in the second last chance qualifier race. My, oh, my. What a race so far here in this one. I bet the racing, like, isn't super, like, you don't, we don't pass that much here at uh, GNC Stunt Road, but it's still, you never know when they're going to make mistakes, and it's just the durability of the race cars and being able to keep your race car in good condition to the end um, that kind of determine who wins. And that's a very fun uh, strategy that we don't see anywhere else in the NRLOA, basically. I mean, we saw it with Blaine's race, Blaine Keyes' race, NRLOA race of fun. Uh, I was on my birthday on Wednesday. Um, but that was a good race right here at GNC Stunt Road. And Cameron does some races here at GNC Stunt Road. But basically, most, a majority, 99% of the races run in the NRLOA are paved racetracks. And uh, we don't really see this kind of strategy that often. But uh, when we do, it is very fun. I mean, series is like the Chick-fil-A Cup Series really can't race here. That's just not traditional enough for that series. But uh, that's why we have a special event. So we can race here at this racetrack and not feel bad about making the series look weird. <laughs> Let's put it that way. This isn't a racetrack I'd put the Chick-fil-A Cup Series on. It's because that's just not what the Chick-fil-A Cup Series is made for. That zero really scraped the outside wall a lot there, and Ryan Searless looking to get back out the zero. He's not too happy about... Uh, the way he got into him there, the one of Emmanuel Hartnett's around back in there, but Searless is trying to get around on the outside. He lost a little bit of ground there. Gratton in the outside wall a little bit. Will he be able to do it? Yes, he will. Nicholas Gratton will hold off Ryan Searless and win the second last chance qualifier race to advance on to the main event here in NRLOA Hobby Stunt. My, oh my. Lofor is going to finish third, but none of that means anything because only the winner, Nicholas Gratton, will advance on to the main event. And uh, quite a few guys had problems in this one. Ben Clark, Josh Marzak, Griffin Lynn, and Eric Gomenard all had problems late in the going for this one. Uh, well, early in the going. Whenever they had problems, they, they were out of the race. It doesn't really matter when. Anyways, apologize for my announcing in this one. I'm sorry. I don't know what my problem is. I, I guess for me, I just... Uh, don't really care about this race too, too much. Doing this right near the beginning of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series and all that. and kind of almost see this as a distraction towards that. But hey, you know what? I told you guys I was going to do it. And unlike the Inner of the Way World Championship Series, I'm going to actually do it for you guys. I'm not going to do anything in that anymore, guys. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, just don't have the time to do anything for those cars. And uh, just going to have to let it slide for that one. But uh, hey, we're going to have a good main event here in Inner of the Way Hobby Stunt. Nicholas Gratton's going to be in it. But he's going to have to battle 11 other guys to get the victory. Which one of those 12 guys will get it? You'll find out in the race right now. And here we go. The main event in NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. 12 drivers here in the main event. And only one winner at the end of this eight-lap race around the GNC Stunt Road. Who's going to get it done? We're going to see uh, pretty soon here. Anyways, let's go ahead and get through the starting lineup for the main event here in NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. John Arndt starts on the pole in the number four. Alongside him, it's William Brock. we got Caleb Hoffman, Victor Delgado, Marty Johnson, Cody Smart, Aaron Henderson, Davey Johnson, Landon Napa, Garrett Zinor, and our last chance qualifiers, Nicholas Gratton and Cameron Grollington, starting in the final row of the field for this one. John Arndt won his heat race in round number two, and he had the faster time than William Brock in that race. And because of that, the four will get to start in first place. It's not good for William Brock. We've seen the outside lane, uh, the outside pole, I should say, not be a good place for some guys in this one. 
and uh, it doesn't usually end up too well if you start on the outside, but you never know what's going to happen. That's why we race, and it's going to be a good eight-lap race here around the GNC Stunt Road to determine the winner of the 2016 NRLOA Hobby Stunt Event. NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2 is ready to conclude, but we still have eight laps to go. Who's going to get it done? We find out just now, right now. Yeah. My goodness, that was a failure. Anyways, William Brock on the outside overshoots the corner and holds up Caleb Hoffman. And that's going to allow John Arf to take the lead. William Brock tried so hard to get that run on the outside and he couldn't do it. And William Brock's not going to win here tonight. John Arndt in the number four is out front. He's got Victor Delgado. Marty Johnson is going to go for second underneath the 88. He can't quite get to him, though. Then you got Cody Smart, Aaron Henderson, Landon Napa, Davey Johnson, Garrett Zinor back in here with Nicholas Grattan and Cameron Grollington. There's Caleb Hoffman deep in the field and William Brock. Outside lane. This does not work. And it's John Arndt's race to lose now. But Marty Johnson, Marty Johnson got around John Arndt in round number one. They were battling each other in round number two, and John Arndt won. And if Marty Johnson could get around uh, Victor Delgado, I'd expect the 25 to close up to the four for the lead. But it's looking good for John Arndt. It's been a while since he's won a race here on Napa Fan. Can't quite remember when his last win was, but it's been a while for the driver of the number four here. Could have, in fact, been uh, the uh, Meliello duel in season four of the Chick-fil-A Cup series. Oh, man. Marty Johnson did not get through that corner wheel at all. Here comes Henderson in the 56. Henderson's going to take third away from Delgado, and Landon Napa's trying to get something done here with Cody Smart. Oh, no! Delgado around through the hill. It did not work. And the zero of Nicholas Gretton hits the 88 hard, and Hoffman slows down in time. Oh, man, oh, man. That's great news for John Arndt. Look at the lead he has now on Marty Johnson. John Arndt getting very lucky here in this one. He was able to start on the... He, he, let's just say he drew the starting... Uh, oh, my goodness. He drew the first starting position... Uh, for his heat race in round number two. And because of that, he was able to win that race, get the fastest time, start on the pole, and here he is with a massive lead on, da or on Marty Johnson here in the main event. But it's still far from over. It's going to be five laps to go when we cross the line this time. Marty Johnson's going to clear Eric or Aaron Henderson. My goodness, I'm sorry. Landon Napa's going for third. Trying to get around Aaron Henderson here. They're side by side there. And the day is going to end for Garrett Zanor as he overshoots turn 10 and hits the pit road wall. Tough break for him. William Brock's back out on the racetrack. But uh, nobody is even close to John Arndt in the number four. Too. A lot of things can change. You never know when the leader could overshoot turn number 10. Uh, when they do that, especially the way Garrett Zanor just did, you can uh, obviously tell it does not end too well. Marty Johnson's ready to strike, and so is Landon Napa in the 35. The last, the next to last time we had a special. Oh, no! Marty Johnson overshot turn, I don't know what turn that is, but he overshot the turn, got into Landon Napa, and that slowed those guys down, and that's even better news for John Arndt. My announcing hasn't been the greatest in this, and I apologize for that. Uh, I know I could be doing a lot better, but uh, i just not really into it right now. But uh, still, 8.24 second lead for John Arndt with half of the race left, four laps to go. Here in the main event of NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2, the 56, Aaron Henderson had a problem. He's out. There's Nicholas Gratton. Looks like he's going to be done. I was about to say, the next to last time we had a special event, Marty Johnson won. That was NRLOA throwback back in February, and don't ask me why I had that kind of special event then. I needed something to complement the Chick-fil-A Cup Series sign-ups, basically, and I just said, hey, let me do a special event with old race cars. 
that's the kind of thing that I think in 2017 will be done in September, Labor Day weekend, and it will flip uh, spots with Enter Away Kickoff, which will become something else, but still with the uh, football-related paint schemes. Mario Johnson is closing in a little bit on John Arndt, but John Arndt doesn't have much to worry about. As long as he doesn't mess up a hill or overshoots turn 10, John Arndt's going to be the winner of NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. And once again, I would like to apologize for the very poor announcing of this one. Uh, I tell you, I'm tired. I procrastinated way too much on this one. And, uh, yeah, I kind of gave a, about to say, like a three quarters of a heart effort on this one. Not half hearted, but three quarters of a heart. You can't be half hearted within their 2003. You just can't. John Arndt's going to lead lap number six. And that pole position worked very well for him. The lead has expanded for John Arndt. So this, this thing is basically done now. Marty Johnson is way too far behind to get to the number four. Davey Johnson is running in third. He got around Landon Napa in the 35. And there's Cameron Crichton. He advanced on from the last chance qualifier. And getting a fifth place after starting 12th at a racetrack like this is a pretty good accomplishment. Aaron Henderson a lap down back out on the racetrack. Cody Smart is sixth. Seventh place. Cody Smart is sixth. Yeah, Cody Smart is sixth. 88 of Victor Delgado is seventh. Henderson is eighth. William Brock started on the outside pole. He is ninth. And those are the only guys left on the racetrack. And they are led by John Arndt, who is out of here in the number four. Almost a 10-second lead for John Arndt. Well, this was probably not one of the best races we've seen on Napa Fan before. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. And John Arndt sure is liking it. This thing still isn't over quite yet. You never know when the slim possibility of the leader overshooting turn 10 could happen. It could happen at any moment. Turn 9, and then on to turn 10. John Arndt is going to win NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2 at the GNC Stunt Road. No competition at all for the number four here tonight. And John Arndt gets the victory in the next special event on Napa Fan. Congratulations to him on this one. John Arndt, the winner of NRLOA Hobby Stunt 2. Marty Johnson second, Davey Johnson third, Landon Napa and Cameron Crowlington round out the top five. You can take a look at the rest of the results right there. Hoffman, Nicholas Gratton, and Garrett Sinur all had problems in uh, the main event here and failed to finish. So I apologize for this race not being the best of races and my announcing not being the best of announcing. But hey, you know what? Have a happy Independence Day. Happy Fourth of July. Yeah, you guys, well, most of us here in America are probably off of school, uh, but still, enjoy and spend some time with your family today, because that's what you really should be doing now, when you get the chance, because a lot of us don't see each other that much in today's world, but when you can do it, it's special, so do it. I think I did that during Thanksgiving, I told you guys to spend time with your family, but seriously, it's a good thing to do, you know. Especially, like, with my dad, he works really late lots of times. I don't really get to see him near as much as I ever used to. So what I'll probably be doing today is probably mowing the grass with him because we probably need to do that today. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to John R. for winning in our Hobby Stunt 2. And that is it for me. I will see you guys later. And, by the way, uh, there will be no truck race today. The truck race will be tomorrow. And the Cup Series at Atlanta will be on Wednesday, just to let you guys know. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later.